Hey guys, it's Alex, and today we're going to talk about why I think the Coyote engine is a great engine, and in the right platform, in the right chassis, it's a pretty unbelievable uh, power plant. So, the way I ended up knowing the whole Coyote thing is I used to own a three valve. Actually, look, I've owned Fox Body since I was, you know, 17 years old. My first car was an 86 Mustang 4i hatchback GT. 220 horsepower, tremendous piece of junk, but at the time I thought it was the best, best thing on earth. Then you progressed. You know, I got a uh, 87 GT, trick flow heads, F cam, uh, trick flow intake, you know, uh, CNL mass air, some uh, what, 24 pound injectors. I thought it was the shit. I think it made 270 to 290 rear wheel horsepower in the 87 GT. It ran 1170s, 1160s all day. It was a decent car. Then I got a notchback, an 86 <clears throat> notchback 4i, my favorite car of all time um, to this day. I will trade in my Coyote car for a four-eyed notch. It was, in my opinion, the, the best car I've ever owned. It weighed nothing, it was raw, it ran 1150s on stock heads, threw a carburetor on it, you know, tuned it up and uh, put some 430s in a good built rear end. That thing on the street was pretty badass with a little 150 shot, kind of hard to beat, you know, a potentially high 10 second uh, notch on the street. So. As you progress, you get a little older, you know, get a house, get a truck, all this stuff, and uh, you know, you sell your cars. Then I wanted to get back into it in my early 30s. Or actually, early to mid 30s, I'm old, fuck. So, <laughs> I went to the dealership and I got this three valve. I got an 05 GT Windvale Blue. And I thought it was pretty fucking neat. I was like, man, this is pretty badass. Then I got in it and I'm driving it around. This was in 2010. 2011 comes around and the Coyote comes out. And people were like, What's up with 430 horsepower? Well, and I'm like, eh, no big deal. I'll throw a blower on my Windvale Blue 3 valve and I'll be fine. So you find out the bottom end is absolute garbage on a 3 valve and you have to build it to have decent power. And I was like, fuck, whatever. So when the Coyote's been out for about, you know, six months then and I'm driving around in my 3 valve thinking I'm the hot shit, then a Mazda Speed 3 comes around. I'm like, yeah, you want to play a motherfucker? And it took everything I had to beat him by a fender. I said, fuck this. <laughs> so I went shopping and I got myself a Coyote car and it was such a night and day difference. But unfortunately, the Coyote is in a slightly different, it's in a slightly different uh, chassis and it's a little heavier. So it, although it was very good and still ran really well, um, the car definitely wasn't like this, This it, was, it wasn't gonna beat everything up. It needed some help, especially in stock trim. So I thought to myself, even back then, man, this thing in a fucking Fox body would be nasty as fuck. And sure enough, that is basically the Coyote stock division in NMRA. So NMRA has this division that you are required to run a bone stock Coyote motor sealed from Ford. Now, the sealed thing gets people kind of messed up. What do you mean sealed? What does sealed mean? They all have gaskets. It's not about gaskets. It's about these certain fasteners that are on the valve cover, on the timing cover, so that you cannot manipulate the engine. You cannot modify the engine at all. You gotta order from Ford. It's a sealed engine from Ford where the fasteners do not have bolt heads on them. They're literally perfectly rounded off and you have to destroy them to get them off if you wanna do any cam, cam stuff, if you wanna do any modifications internally to the engine, you absolutely have to break these fasteners. And then when an NMRA tech looks down at your engine and sees that you've tampered with the fasteners, you can't compete. So it is a bone stock Coyote engine and NMRA does something even better. They actually make everyone run the same fuel and the same tune. That's it. At this point, it is now driver suspension. That is what is gonna get the car going and uh, who is actually gonna be, you know, rise above the rest. So I just happen to know one of the quicker Coyote stock guys, his name is Carlos Sabrino. Now, in a bone stock Coyote engine with the factory tune and some great, not the factory tune, but the NMRA tune that they provide, the car in Coyote stock trim has gone, I, I believe, as quick as a low 10, like a 10.2 or a 10.1, if I'm not mistaken. I'll let him speak for that. And this is on a bone stock a Coyote engine. In outlaw trim, I mean, outlaw means whatever fuel, whatever, as long as the engine is not modified again it is still a sealed coyote engine as long as it is not modified in any way 
anything goes. Wait, go, wait, you can you can gut it, you can do whatever the hell you want. I believe he's gone, 970s, 960s, 950s. Again, I'll get confirmation from him. But it is a nine second car with a bone stock Coyote engine in about a 20, what, 2700 pound or so, 2800 pound chassis. That's actually pretty damn baller. That's why I love the engine so much. If you've ever gone to an NMRA race, you will know when Coyote stock is up. You hear that you hear them get on the limiter and they're all stick shift classes, man classes, letting the nuts hang classes. I don't care about Coyote Modified, Turbo Coyote. I don't give a fuck about any of those classes. The class I run up to watch is Coyote stock. It is all even playing field. It is men shifting, running a low 10 in mostly Fox body chassis. There are There is a Maverick out there that I love too, but I love that the Fox is out there doing work with a Coyote engine. So that little engine in the right chassis is something to be reckoned with and that's why I love it so much. Um, I'll let Carlos Sabrino speak for a little bit about his setup and uh, hopefully you guys will get well versed as to the potential of the Coyote engine in the right chassis, the Fox body. Hi, my name is Carlos Sabrino, Advanced Auto Repair out of New Jersey and my dear friend, Alex Flores, you know him by a bunch of other names. All good though, all good names. Asked me to do a little PSA regarding stock, naturally aspirated coyotes, which I have. My car is called the Joker. It runs NMRA coyote stock. And uh, what that means is it's a sealed motor from Ford, which I'll touch up on in a minute. With the same, we all run the same fuel, VP, C10, the same tune from Ford and the same weight which is 3,000 pounds. The car also runs a class called Outlaw Coyote which is at the World Cup imports versus domestics all motor class where if you see the car you might have seen it there it did pretty freaking good. Got paid bitches. <laughs> so I'll do a little PSA regarding the car and uh, let's do that. All right here's the car it's still in the trailer because we just got back from uh, NMRA Maple Grove, Pennsylvania. So it's still in here. All right, this is the Joker. I don't know why they call it the Joker. I have no clue why it's called the Joker. But uh, that's the name. And that right there, my friends, is a 2011 to 2014 stock Ford Coyote motor. What does that mean, stock Coyote motor? It means that Ford took it off the assembly line, right? before it went in a Mustang GT and they put seals on the motor where are the seals you say alright here you go this is the valve cover there's one on each valve cover it's a bunch of shit bolts all the way around but then you come to this special one right here this is a seal it's got serial numbers on it Ford knows the serial numbers they have it on record so does the NMRA if you want to get in the motor you gotta take this off if you take this off you broke the rules. If you broke the rules, you're out of here, you cheating fuck. Out. There's one on each valve cover. One down here, too. Down here, on the side, besides all my bullshit hoses. There's two on the timing cover. One on the passenger side. One on the driver's side. It's down there. You'll see it. There it is. There's also one on the intake. So no fuckery goes about here. All right? The only things we could do to this motor... R, put headers on it. Oh, what do you mean headers? That's not stock anymore. Put a flywheel on it. Oh, no. And cold air intake. And not for nothing, girls with 16-second six-cylinder Mustangs put cold air intake. So nothing there to see. All right, stock injectors, stock uh, fuel system, returnless. We could change the oil and put spark plugs and put coils on it. The coils are there because they pay contingency. So, it's basically a bone stock motor. It really is. Throttle body stock from Ford as provided. Computer is stock from Ford as provided. And we run their tune. All right. It's me again. So, that's the car. That's the car. That's the car. Big deal. Exactly. Uh, when the car has gone, it was the first NA stock Coyote in the 980s. It was the first NA in the 960s, 950s, and then 940s, making it the world's fastest naturally aspirated stock or sealed stock.
Coyote powered car. Yes, it's in a fox body. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's in a fox body. Uh, I could do the same thing with an 11 to 14 Mustang. The new motors make more power, so I'll be buying that one eventually. All right, so the car's pretty recognizable. If any LS nut swingers see this car at the track with your stock LS, which means turbo, heads, cam, you know, the LS terminology, uh, line up. Let's go for a run, you know, against a real stock Coyote. All right, back at you, Alex. See you soon. So there you hear it from the horse's mouth himself, Carlos Sobrino, who actually races the Coyote stock class, uh, has the quickest, fastest uh, Coyote-powered NA car in the, on the planet, apparently. Eh, news to me, but uh, I don't doubt him. The guy races the car. It's a stick shift car. It's in a Fox chassis. So for you guys considering the Coyote platform in a Fox chassis, man, there is no other way to go, in my opinion. You know, friends don't let friends LS swap. It's just not necessary, and uh, you know, you know what happens when you open a hood on an LS car? You go, oh, uh, LS swap, bleh. but then you see a Coyote car, you go, my man. Thank you, Carlos, and hopefully, if you guys are anywhere near an NMRA race, go check yourself out, Coyote Stock. In my opinion, the best class in that series. Talk to you guys later.